Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Fife and Flow. Today I'm going to be giving you some solid tips on how to improve your position while riding a mountain bike. So why do you need the correct position while mountain biking? Well, you want to be able to feel confident, comfortable and be able to absorb the hits so you're able to control your bike while descending the mountain. From what I've seen in my own experience and uh, from other riders as well, when we get nervous or maybe we're new to riding, we really like to close ourselves off. So we like to keep our elbows in, our knees pointed in towards our bike because it kind of feels safe to curl up in a ball. But that is not the correct position because it actually gives us less control over the bike and we're not in a strong position to absorb force. Good body position allows for optimal force absorption, increased control, and more confidence as a bike rider. Tip one, elbows out. With keeping your elbows wide, it actually brings your whole body and center mass forward. This allows you to have more control while braking with the front brake and steering. Another reason why you should keep your elbows wide is that you're actually more aggressive and stronger in this position than when you bring your elbows down in towards your body. Let's check out this clip of my husband Andrew riding this rock roll. As you can see in this clip, his elbows are in the wide position and he's ready to absorb the hit at the bottom. You can see because his elbows are wide, he's brought slightly forward so he has traction and braking power on the front wheel. Okay, now this is some point of view footage of me doing the same roller. All right, let's watch that one more time from a different perspective. Tip two, heels dropped. You want to keep your heels dropped so you actually increase traction on the rear wheel so you have more braking power and then also you're less likely just to skid out. So you want to keep your heels dropped so you can drive force into that rear wheel and also if you have clips this is critical because you, oh wait, back up. Also, if you are wearing flat pedals, this is critical because if you don't keep your heels dropped, your feet will literally come off the pedals. Dropping your heels while descending on a bike really helps to increase traction so you're able to have proper braking and control while descending. Also helps with absorption of impact so when you go off your bike and you land, you're able to keep your feet on the pedals and keep your body in the right position where it's the strongest. This matters most when you're going through technical terrain. Let's take a look at this rock section on a trail. As you can see, it has a ton of roots, it has some ruts in it, and it has some rocks and some slick moss as well. You definitely wanna keep your heels dropped so you're able to obtain proper braking and control while descending this technical section of trail. The line I'm gonna take down this feature is I'm gonna to try to squeeze in between the roots down the rut and try to avoid the slick and mossy rock. Before doing any feature that intimidates me a little bit, I always say to myself, look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. Another turn after it, good, good. Oh gosh, that was a relief. Tip three, knees wide. When your knees are wide and they're slightly pointed outwards, it gives you a lot of room to move the bike underneath you. And this really helps with bike body separation. I know this is a pretty common theme and I've repeated myself a couple times, but it helps with force absorption. It's really important here. So think about when you're going into a squat, you really should have your knees slightly pointed outward for the best position and it's the strongest position. Keeping your stance wide or slightly rotating your knee away from the bike really opens up the hips. And this is really good for cornering because with cornering you really have to turn your hips to the way that you want to corner and this allows for the bike to follow through. Well, that's it for my three tips on how to improve body position. Now I hope you go and find some flow.